Hey everyone, so I'm currently in our guest bedroom that has turned into the dump room. Uh, essentially this has turned into slowly but surely the room where if it doesn't have an assigned location it just ends up in this room. One of our guest rooms but I am planning to change this into my office slash studio slash atelier slash YouTube video room slash creativity room, makeup, dress up room, a little bit of everything. <laughs> you see behind me is a total mess. I am not going to deny it. Um, it's actually kind of turned into also our dog bedroom. There's a mattress here we're gonna get rid of and they just seem to have gravitated towards this mattress. And since Romeo and Canela have been having hip pain and discomfort, I'm kind of like letting them uh, enjoy and I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with this mattress yet. But I have gathered some inspiration. I have measured the room. My next step is to remove all these items and to possibly buy a few things that I need for this room to be everything that I want it to be. So I thought I'd document this journey and hopefully it turns into a beautiful masterpiece. But other than that, as you already know, I love home, I love interior design and decor. So I thought this could be a challenge and a little project for me and you guys can follow along. A few things that I really need is like a wall with all my goals so I can see them on a daily basis. I really believe in manifestation and the, the things that you see and think of will come into your life. Uh, I also need a spot to be able to do more videos. I also need a desk with a future desktop computer so that I can just have like an official desk to concentrate um, and maybe a little fridge with some goodies and snacks so that I don't have to go downstairs all the time. Uh, but it's gonna be a creative creativity room. I want it to really motivate me and inspire me while I'm in this room. And it do, it is one of the rooms with natural lighting. Most of the house has that natural natural lighting, but that is really important to me in my workspace. So, trying to decide if I should change the paint color, keep the paint color. Um, should I go dark, dark or light? I can go either way. Like I really appreciate the light whites and just crisp walls, but I also really like the dark and dramatic. So I'm in the deciding stages of that. I might have to pick up a few paint samples if I'm gonna paint the room, but I mean, it's not a bad color right now, but it's just, you know, I want it to be its own theme its own subject in the home if that makes sense so follow along So one of the things I'm really excited to use is this mirror. I want to find a good spot for it. I found this mirror on Marketplace and I just really liked the uniqueness of it. Um, and I picked it up I think for about $40. So well, did I know I go to an antique store and they had it with a tag of like $200, two or $300. And I was just mind blown and I'm like, oh my God, I feel like a winner. So I'm seeing if I can put this in somewhere. Hey right, Romeo? Wait. Right. Wait. Hey. What do you think? Okay. This is another exciting find of mine. Um, I saw this and I picked it up. I thought it was so cute. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I think it's meant to hold like maybe a coat or some purses. Um, but I thought this would go with the theme of my room. Okay, so I have removed most of the items. I took out these boxes that we've had, some frames. Um, I have a couple of big things that I can't move on my own. This, this door right here caught not cost, I mean, 
This door right here weighs about 200 pounds. Um, and I have this dresser that this camera's sitting on and then that bookshelf that we got at Ikea that has also been serving as just dump load paperwork stuff. So for now, I'm gonna pause, but I feel like I've already made progress. I actually had not dedicated time to this room because I just overthink things and I just get overwhelmed and um, sometimes you don't have to do things A, B, C, D. Sometimes it's D, A, B, C. So I just had stopped the thought process of working on this room because of all that paperwork that I have there. I just felt like I needed to get rid of that first before I could work on this room. Um, but decided to approach it a different way and I already feel much better. I will deal with that later, but I don't delay the progress I can make for my room. And also that's gonna help me in my business and my everyday um, in my everyday necessities. So it's um, already starting to feel like I've made some progress. The question I have though is, do I buy a cool chandelier for that? or do I leave the fan? So, I mean, that fan is only a few years old and it still works. And you know, here in Florida, it gets really hot, but is it cute? Not really. So, something on my mind to make a decision on. Until next time.